We shall have a look at the LBQ algorithm. First, we need to initialize all the base of the nodes to random values in the range 0, 1. Adjust the learning rate. Now here, learning rate could be adjusted for every iteration. So, uh, previously we have seen, we have taken a fixed learning rate. But it is possible for us to adjust the learning rate for every iteration. But while solving the problems, nobody would ask you uh, to solve for more than one iteration. So, for one iteration, we will be taking say 0.6 next, you can change the learning rate. But that is if at all you are doing say programming etc, that time you can consider it. But for, from exam point of view, if at all you ask to solve a problem, then there is no uh, point in taking this variable rate because you would be asked only one, with, uh, one iteration and for the full iteration, the rate should be constant. Now, you present the first input pattern. And then you calculate the Euclidean distances, same way as how we did for SCL. Find the winner node and whose distance is the smallest. So Vj star which is closer to x of k. Now, the difference here is that whenever the weight matrix is given to us, say this is W1, W2, W3, there are the three rows. Okay, it will indicate that this pattern, this way, this uh, weight, uh, this node corresponds to class 1, second node corresponds to class 2, third node also maybe corresponds to class 2. So, will be indicated, it will all be indicated as to which class it belongs to. Now, supposing that the class label of the J star, that is the node which are given, and if at all, so, the, uh, so it is already known to us, it will be told to us that the particular pattern which is given is belonging to which class. If at all the weight, if at all it corresponds to the same class, say supposing when I am presenting x1, and say x1 is belonging to class 1, and after presenting x1 I get winner node as node 1. Node 1 is also belonging to class 1. So if at all there is a match which takes place, then I have to update the weights by using the first equation which I have shown here. This equation. If I thought it is not matching, say supposing that winner node when x1 is presented, x1 is a pattern of class 1, but if, if the winner node is a second node and winner node belongs to class 2, then I have to update the weight by using this equation. So every time the winning node weight has to be updated. So that is the only difference between SCL and MBQ. There are two weight equations. One, with, one is the same as the previous. One has got a negative sign. So if at all the weight is called the weight of the uh, sorry if at all the winner node is corresponding to the same class as that of the input pattern then I have a positive bit update Otherwise, I will have a negative weight update. And then you have to repeat this procedure for all the input patterns. And then we have to repeat till the network converges. So this is the LVQ algorithm. Now the same problem which we have solved for SCL, same problem which I will also be solving for LVQ. The same problem is given for LVQ algorithm. Only thing is that, we have mentioned that pattern 1 and pattern 6 are belonging to class 1 and pattern 2, 3, 4, 5 are belonging to class 2. Now also something has to be indicated. Since there are twice as many samples in class 2 and class 1, we uh, label the first node belonging to class 1 and the second and third node belongs to class 2. So why this is done? Sometimes in the problem it may be given to you. Sometimes you have to assume. So if at all the pattern, the class of the pattern is given. Uh, uh, as you know now see two patterns are belonging to class 1. And four patterns are belonging to class 2. So what we have done is that there are three weight vectors. So again that I have divided 1 and 2. So one weight vector is given to class 1 and 2 are given to class 2. So it should be proportionate. So the steps will be the same. First we have to present pattern 1. 
So in the solution, first we need to present x1 that is 1, 1.7, 1.8. 1.1, 1.7, 1.8. And we need to calculate the distances d11 square, d12 square, d13 square. So we had already calculated these distances for the previous problem. So because the problem is the same, it is the same. So your node 3 is the winner node. And hence, now node 3 is the winner node. Now, but which was the pattern which was presented? Pattern belonged to class 1. And node 3 belongs to class 2. Because it is indicated node 3 belongs to class 2. So they are belonging to, they are both different. So what will be the weight update? The weight update will be given by the second equation which I have written here. So then it will be a negative weight update which we have to do. So we need to calculate delta W3 is nothing but eta times minus eta times. It will be X1 minus W3. That was the original. So it will be minus 0.5 times X1 is made up of nothing but 1.1, 1.7, 1.8 1 minus 1, 1, 1. So this would give rise to point 0.5 this will be into point 0.1, point 0.7, point 0.8 so it will be minus sign here so it will be minus point 0.05, minus point 0.35 and minus point 0.4 so what will be W3? W3 will be nothing but initially it was W3 new. What will be W3 new? Delta W3 plus W3 old. So it will be 1, 1, 1. So 1 minus 0 0.05. That will be 0 0.95. So I will write it as directly. 0.95 next will be 1 minus 0.35 will be 0.65 and will be 0.6 so this will be the weight update so what will be the new weight vector the new weight vector I will just write it here will be just the last row will be different the last row will be made up of this now we need to present the second. So in step, so in step two we present pattern two and we calculate d21 square, d22 square and d23 square. So it is zero minus the value of the weight. Now what is the weight vector? Zero minus. This is the weight vector here. So I get it down here. So it will be 0 minus 0.2. So it will be 0.2 square plus 0.7 square plus 0.3 square. Then here it will be 0.1 square plus 0.1 square plus 0.9 square. And here it will be 0.95 square plus 0.65 square plus 0.6 square. So we need to calculate its distances and see which one, which of the node emerges as the winner node. So these are the distances and from these distances 0.62. Now here I am just finding the distance square. Sometimes you may be finding, you, you can take the square root and find the distances. But if at all the square is least then the square root also will be least. So you need not do that one step. I am just saving one step. So uh, hence I can say that uh, node 1 is the winner node. So when I say node 1 now, uh, pattern which was presented was from class 2 and the winner node 
is from class 1. So what do I have to do is that I have to again uh, use a negative weight update equation that is minus of eta into it will be w, uh, x1 x1 x2 minus w1 so it will be minus 0.5 what is x2 is 0 0 0 so minus it will be the first 0 0.2 0 0.7 0 0.3 so this is what we get so here it will become 0 0.1, 0 0.35 and 0 0.15. So we need to recalculate the weight that is W1 nu will be nothing but delta W1 plus W1 old. So this is nothing but 0 0.1, 0 0.35, 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0.3. So this will be nothing but 0.3. 1.05 and this will be 0.45 so this will be the new weight so the new weight vector will be nothing but replacing this particular row and I will write as 0 0.3 1.05 and 0.45 so using this weight matrix you need to do perform the step 3 and then perform step 4 step 5 and step 6 so i expect you all to do all these remaining steps